Councillor, outgoing councillor Frank McBurdy is with me here, running in the Finn Valley area as an independent on this occasion, uh, Frank. And uh, we won't know until tomorrow. But the tally men are suggesting that it's going to be it's going to be tight for those last two or three seats in that area, as it is in fact in all the areas. Well, first of all, I want to thank all the people that's voted for me um, and the people who have given me their first preferences as well. I think this has been a very hard fight. I think that the government has got the message that they haven't been doing the job the way people voted them in to do. And I think that this election is a clear indication that there's changes needed. But I'm a bit disappointed that I think the independents, and I'm an independent now myself, we need to look at a different strategy because there's too many independents. Mm. And I think that if we have one or two in each area uh, with all the other candidates backing them, I think there would be a far stronger vote because we've seen in Donegal alone, I think it's about 28% of people have voted for independents. But there's too many, too many candidates yeah. uh, for independence. But I think, I think the surprising thing for me is that people have forgiven Fianna Fáil and Donegal, and I think that that's wrong. Yeah. I think that they created the problems, and the current government has done nothing to ease the problems that people have. We've got water charges, we have property taxes. There's a lot of families out there at the minute that are very vulnerable, um, not able to pay the bills that's coming in on a daily basis and in particular the middle class who come from working class backgrounds. Um, Frank, do you feel vindicated to the fact that you left the Labour Party because you weren't happy with the policies and the way they were, the way things were going? I mean, Finn Gael and Labour came in with a lot of promises and I think there was, you know, people were wondering at the time, will they be able to stand over these? And I mean, the reality was they weren't. Well, I believed it as well, Charlie. Um, the Labour Party headhunted me for the last local elections and I'm a man of my word. Um, I said I would resign if Lifford Hospital closed. Thank God that hasn't closed. Um, but I think that the people who, especially in the Liberal Party, who are advising them, the Liberal Party now needs to take a long look at itself uh, and go back to basics and start representing people again, not their parties. And I think that that's what's wrong in Irish politics. Uh, we get elected, we get a mandate to represent the people first and foremost. Um, and I think that that's what's wrong with Irish politics. We only have to look at all the corruption in the country what has been exposed over many years, what I have exposed over 17 and a half years, and the, the bottom line is people are not going to tolerate it any longer. Yeah. I mean, and that is the issue here. Yeah. And do you think, Frank, that obviously this is a real wake-up call for the current government parties now with a general election not that long in the future? And if, if what we see happening here today is reflected then, then Finn Gael and they were going to be wiped out. Well, I think the word you have to look for is the truth. You tell people the truth. You don't tell people what they want to hear. And I think that that's where this government has let down the public who voted for them. Uh, a huge majority that they have. But I wonder now, does this government last the pace? That's, that's a big question mark at the minute. Yeah. I know there's a lot of people in both parties, Finn Gael and in Labour, that are very unhappy with the ministers that are in government and the decisions that they have made over the last three years. And Frank, it, it looks, and you mentioned it there, from what uh, we see, that Fianna Fáil and, and Sinn Féin are going to be the dominant forces uh, in Donegal County Council when this new look council goes back. But, you know, it's going to be important that all 39 councillors work together because we all know, we've all been around long enough now and you've been in politics long enough to know that we are a county that tends to be forgotten and it, it's going to be hugely important that this new council, without the town councils, really work for the whole county. Well, we have to work together. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, I have built up different relationships with different councillors from every party over the last five years, and you, and you, you have to work together, and that's just part of politics. We, we all don't see eye to eye, but I, I can tell you this. Um, Sinn Féin has got a great organisation on the ground here in Donegal, and I think that independents uh, who are in the same like, like mind um, should now take a leaf from Sinn Féin's book and start campaigning and putting candidates out there that will maximise the vote for independence because what has happened here today, the independents haven't actually maximised their vote. Yeah. What has happened is the independents have split their vote everywhere. And I mean, there's even independence votes that I probably would have got if there hadn't been as many candidates in the race. Sure. John O'Donnell was up with us. He looks as if he's going to be elected in Letter Kenny Milford. And he says it's going to be important that the independents who return, he says maybe up to as many as 10, form some sort of an alliance as well so they can have a strong voice at council level. Well, I'll be looking for the independents to form a technical group because there's a lot of negotiating to do um, with the bigger parties. And I've had the experience of doing two negotiations in Donegal County Council. The first one was with Fianna Fáil and Sinn Féin, which collapsed because of the budget debacle. Yeah. And then the second one then were brought in Fingale, Labour, uh, Independence and uh, Sinn Féin. 
and we work quite well together. And I think that everyone has their own opinions, everyone has their different idea, but there's a lot of uh, negotiating to do over the next two weeks. The, the AGM has to legally be held now on the 6th of June, and I think that the, the, there's an awful lot of work after the count tomorrow um, that has to be undertaken by every group, and, and I would be calling on the independents all of them to come together and form a technical group like the same as in the Dáil because the, the technical group in the Dáil has shown people what, what independents can actually do. I mean, you have people like Thomas Pringle, you have people like Luke Ming Flanagan, Mick Wallace, uh, Claire, and Daly. Claire Daly and the yeah. many, many, many more. And they took on issues that other politicians were frightened to take on, such as the Garda tobacco is going on at the minute, which me and my father has exposed over many, many years. And I think that It'll be, it'll be refreshing, I think, for the people of Donegal, but I can assure the people of Donegal one thing. No, no matter what kind of grouping we're in, I'll definitely be a very strong voice for the people of the county uh, as a whole. I don't think there's any doubt about that, Frank. Thanks a million for talking to us. Right, Thanks a million.